Alabama's WVUA News at 10 with your award-winning news team, Claire Huddleston. Weather with Richard Scott and sports with Gary Harris. Thanks for joining us. Today marks the six-month anniversary of the April 27th tornado that ripped through Tuscaloosa, leaving 52 people dead and many others injured. At 5.13 this afternoon, the city of Tuscaloosa had a moment of silence to remember those who died. Shortly after that, Forest Lake Baptist Church had a church service to honor the victims. WVA's Sarah Chobnick shows us how the Forest Lake community is continuing to heal six months later. Six months ago, residents of the Forest Lake community emerged from their homes to find their lives turned upside down. Now, the members of the community are coming together to celebrate the progress that has been made and to remember the lives that have been lost. Uh, we've had a lot of folks that have been very discouraged and uh, you kind of get tired after a little while. And so we just need to be encouraged to persevere and know that God's got great things in store for us. The Forest Lake Baptist Church, which was in the path of the devastating tornado, has played its part in rebuilding the community. They want to spread the message that greater things have yet to come and greater things are still to be done in this city. I've seen people in, um, in our church, I've seen people around the community that I've never seen before. Um, it's an unfortunate thing that disaster strikes, but um, it's something that has really hit home for a lot of people in our community. The community in Tuscaloosa itself has, has, has risen above of and beyond the mark and the call of doing. And um, the Lord has just opened up so many, put so many people together. He really has. Members of the Forest Lake Baptist Church joined together with other congregations around the community to lean on each other for support. Mayor Walt Maddox, who spoke at the service, notes a confident hope that he sees in his city. Indeed, tonight at Forest Lake Baptist Church, we together as the choir said, can stand as one. In Tuscaloosa, Sarah Chovnik, WVUA News. The church is still accepting donations for its relief center. To donate, call 205-759-1039. On that tragic day six months ago, families in West Alabama hurtled together to ride out the storm, and now they are starting to rebuild. The Nixon family was home when the tornado hit their house. Everyone survived in the hallway, the only part of their home left standing. Stephanie Nixon says it's been hard recovering from the storm. It's been a challenge. It's, it's been hard, but I volunteer a lot. I volunteer with temporary emergency services uh, all week, and... Um, and it's kept me busy and kept my mind clear and helping other people understand the process. Nixon's house is being rebuilt in its same location. She hopes to be back in her home by Christmas. Speaking of housing, Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says housing is one of his major concerns when it comes to recovery. He says over half of the homes destroyed were rental homes. Mayor Maddox says he hopes for more federal aid so people can get out of temporary homes. Right now we have $336 million worth of unmet housing needs and the poorest of the poor were hit the hardest here in Tuscaloosa. 61% of the homes that were lost were rental with a median income of less than 28,000. So we're gonna need the help of our federal partners to be able to create an, create an affordable housing market uh, to get people back in the homes. Right now over 10,000 people are living in some sort of temporary housing. Overall, Alabama Governor Robert Bentley says he's pleased with the state's progress six months after the storms. 248 people died in Alabama because of the tornadoes. Officials say altogether there were 62 tornadoes that covered 1,177 miles. The Alabama Emergency Management Agency says state and local governments have cleared up almost 10 million cubic yards of debris from public and private property. Governor Bentley says he believes the state is ahead of the timeline for expected recovery because we're probably six months ahead of any natural disaster that's ever hit this, the country. And, and I'm just very proud of the people, the volunteers, uh, everyone has worked together. And uh, one of the reasons we had so few uh, temporary houses uh, in this state is because we cleaned up the, the debris very quickly and people were able to start rebuilding. The Friday after the tornado hit Tuscaloosa, President Barack Obama came to the Druid City. He toured Tuscaloosa's damage, including some of the schools that were hit. He met with Mayor Maddox, Governor Bentley, and several Tuscaloosa residents. He commended the Tuscaloosa community for its resilience and the way the community came together after the storm. 
As residents look at the progress made over the last six months, they're also reflecting on that fateful day. The tornado touched down near Rosedale Port and then tore a path across 15th Street and McFarland Boulevard. Several neighborhoods had significant damage. The tornado even wiped some areas completely off the map. But the twister did not stop in Tuscaloosa. It went on to devastate the communities of Alberta and Holt. There, the tornado also took out businesses and homes and the Holt Elementary School. Speaking of Holt Elementary, it was one of four schools in Tuscaloosa County damaged by the tornado. The other three schools are in the Tuscaloosa City School System. They are Alberta Elementary, University Place Elementary, and University Place Middle School. Right now, the schools are in the process of developing plans and hiring architects to rebuild the schools. Some of the schools are hoping to rebuild within the next year. Students from a Birmingham area school are helping Holt Elementary as the school continues to recover from the April 27th tornado. Third graders from Gwynn Elementary in Hoover have been studying the tornadoes for the past three weeks. When they learned about Holt Elementary, they felt compelled to help. They've collected scissors, crayons, glue, and paper. Today, the third graders took a field trip to Tuscaloosa to hand deliver the items. Yesterday we were talking about it and they said, you know, it's just so good to help other people and to help those that are in need. Um, and so I think they've really learned what it is to help other people and to put other people first. Your home team is putting people first. We're making a documentary called Faces of the Storm. It will air this November. It's an in-depth personal look at the events from April 27th and what's happened since then. Faces of the Storm only on WVUA-TV, Alabama's home team.